What's going on, guys? Coach Kiki, Kiki the athlete. Happy Wednesday. Um, it is Wednesday, July the 24th, and it's a high carb day. So I just came off of two back to back shows. I did the Atlanta Pro, um, and then last week, the Patriots Challenge Pro um, in Las Vegas. So 10th place in Atlanta. I got 6th place in um, Vegas. So we're moving on up. I'm not satisfied though. Um, so my season is not done yet. But now that I've been in, um, you know, stage ready condition, um, we can start working food back up and just be a little bit more um, particular about when we're adding in high carb days to bring up uh, like weaker body parts. So it is a glute day. So it is a high carb day. I'm going to do my best to show you what I'm eating on this high carb day. Um, so first up, I had my max effort fruits, greens, immune boost, uh, collagen and glutamine, my morning cocktail. Um, if you've seen my prep videos before, um, every Sunday when I'm doing meal prep, I also prep all my supplements. So all I can do, all I have to do is like dump, goodness, words this morning, dump this into my, into my water, um, instead of having to pull out every single little container. So that goes down the hatch first. And then first up for meal number one is goodness i can't talk today maybe it wasn't a good idea to video um meal number one i will show you but it's one of my i love all of my meals meal number one is a big bowl of oatmeal yum yum all right stay tuned happy hump day let's go all right <clears throat> big bowl of oatmeal salt redmond's real salt and dark roasted peanut butter. Boom. Meal number one going down. This is a big ass bowl of oatmeal and I'm so freaking excited. This is my little meatball. Hello. <laughs> All right, we are back for meal number two. It is 11 a.m. <clears throat> I think the most important thing during these high carb days is staying on like top of my meals because I have an extra meal today. So I have six meals instead of five. So if I get behind, I have to stay up later because, you know, I can only eat, you know, every two to three hours. Um, we don't want to disrupt the digestion system so much where we're eating a meal, having another meal an hour later. So Meal number two, going down. I just got back from a walk with Mr. Brutus. Got some work done and now it's time to eat again. So we got some sweet potatoes that I uh, heated up in the air fryer and some delicious fish. Super simple. I'm excited for the sweet potatoes. <laughs> okay, let's go. The greatest thing about a high carb day is a big, Whole bowl of Flavor Gang Bowl Gains pre-workout. So I'm combining peaches and cream and cracked berries today before I go train glutes. Y'all, this is the best hot cereal that you will ever find. Seriously, every single one of their flavors. If you can see here, I have a lot. I have the brownie batter, the cream pie, the new fabulously fruity. Seriously, ooh, I may just do a combo of all the fruits. That's a good idea. All right. That's what I'm doing pre-workout. And I already ate my ground turkey. You don't need to see that. Ground turkey breast, plain as fuck. And then this is the fun stuff. <laughs> What's going on, guys? We are at the gym in the gym parking lot. I uh, just finished up a jam session on my drive here. <laughs> Getting ready to train glutes. Pre-workout, max effort, pre-workout, sour gummy flavor. I'm only training glutes right now. Um like in general, um, just to make sure I'm balanced from top to bottom. So I'm literally only training three days a week. Um, so when I get to have my pre-workout, 
<laughs> it just makes me so happy. It's like my happy juice. Y'all, I've been using Max Efforts pre-workout since 2018 literally. Um, and then I became a sponsored athlete with them in 2020 once I got my pro card. So y'all, it's so good. Sour gummy. That's like the OG flavor. My favorite flavor is combining the sour watermelon and the great popsicle. Um, but yeah, pre-workout down the hatch and we're about ready to go into Cambridge fitness to train the glutes. Let's go. All right. Post workout at the gym because I don't want to be behind on meals. Ground turkey, rice, and then that's paprika. And my cute little igloo cooler. Lots of rice, high carb day. All right, meal number five, cod, soup potato. Super simple, nothing fancy. Honestly, that's all I have to say. <laughs> carbs going in today and then I'm back to my low day plan tomorrow so enjoying these carbs and then we just keep working like always let's go this is the exciting life of Kiki on prep <laughs> a I live in the middle of nowhere and I have no friends so I spend my evenings in my barn but I can look at me and back in. See? Yes, we're doing touch-ups, kickbacks on my glute kickback machine. And just in the silence because I'm a psycho. And that's, that's it, that's it, that's it, that's it. <laughs> I promise I'm not a psycho, but uh, I just need to pass the time and about to go eat a meal and take an Epsom salt bath. So, exciting life. Let's go, baby. All right, last meal of the night for high carb day. A gorgeous bowl of the best flavor gang, bowl of greens. I'm using a cream pie tonight. This is so good. Like, it tastes like cream. It is so good. Oh, so creamy. Freaking delicious. And then a tablespoon of dark roasted peanut butter. Last meal for the high carb day. Finishing it off strong. Let's go. What's going on everyone? Happy Sunday. It's Sunday and I am home for the weekend. Um, after two back-to-back -back shows, it's been so nice to not travel. Um, honestly, I'm still itching <laughs> to get back on stage um, to be determined when that is going to happen. Uh, I'm just waiting to hear from Coach Ben on what he is thinking in terms of the rest of my 2024 season um so that's fun <laughs> um I think the the biggest change for me this year has honestly um you know not knowing what shows I'm doing which is you know kind of refreshing because like I say all the time like I'm always in prep whether I'm cutting or in a building season I'm always in prep for 
the next show. Um, so I, all my habits are the same. Um, I follow my protocols, literally do exactly what Ben says, um, and just kind of roll with it. And it's been nice to just kind of relinquish that decision making on him. Um, and it's, I don't know, it's just, I, I feel like more of an athlete and that we're, you know, just rolling with it um you know we decided to go to vegas literally like a couple hours before uh the contract deadline <laughs> um and then we booked everything um i'm very much a type a planner person um and <laughs> ben has helped me uh kind of stress a little bit less about all of that um you know i'm uh, I would normally have to have everything booked in advance and know exactly what I'm doing, when I'm doing it, what I'm doing, when I'm going to be driving, flying, where I'm going to be staying, what grocery stores are around, X, Y, and Z. And honestly, it's been kind of nice to just kind of like go with the flow a little bit more. So aside from like the big physique changes that I've made with Ben um, and posing changes and just all together a brand new freaking Kiki it's like literally brand new kiki um obviously i'm still like a type a planner but i'm learning to breathe and kind of let go of that neurotic um detail that i don't need to worry about because i know that it'll all work out um so i'm just excited to get back on stage anyways that was a long rant besides or I wasn't even planning on doing that. I'm literally just enjoying this afternoon on the trail by myself because it is like upwards 90 plus degrees outside. Um, and everyone's probably at the lake or drinking or in a pool somewhere and no one wants to be outside sweating, walking on a trail. So. I get it all to myself. So we're doing a little podcast and twirl. One of my favorite things, um, is just listening to, um, I never listen to like fiction podcasts. <laughs> it's always something professional development wise, whether that be uh, specifically about bodybuilding or growing my business, leadership, um, coaching, literally in all aspects. Like I'm right now I'm listening to um, Molly Fletcher's Game Changers and she is or she was a um, sports my mind is going blank uh, agent she is a sports agent <laughs> um, and I've literally been following her since I was in undergrad um, going into sports management so listening to her podcast absolutely love it this one's on um creating and cultivating a um culture of excellence within your program um talking to um a college basketball coach and honestly like i think i i love being able to take things from other areas of life um and sports um and Put that into my bodybuilding coaching um it's going to you know diversify my leadership ability as a coach and just get some really good like tidbits and it doesn't so like it doesn't have to be all about bodybuilding all the time even though i love that and i wish there were more podcasts that i could listen to but <laughs> here we are listening to game changers um i do not have mr brutus with me today because it is really hot and he would die um on this trail um because it's so hot out so just a solo podcast and twirl i have my pocahontas hair in today because i need to wash my hair um yeah podcast and twirl on the guernsey trail let's go happy sunday <laughs>